Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one we are going to be sorting out the Summoner Water Village. Now to get everything here, because I think I've already looted it with this character. Mm, no, actually we haven't. You are going to want to have a stone sword key. If you don't already have one, if you just travel west to the shack here, if you haven't already collected it, there will be one right there that you can use for the talisman, which is going to be very useful to any uh, build realistically, but especially um, melee builds that are going to be relying on relying on stamina. So we're going to head on in here. Uh, we're just going to crush the mariner. Really should not give us very much issue. I'm going to jump on you. It is staggerable, so just bear that in mind. It does like to move around. I'd like to have the jellyfish out because there's a lot of AoE type abilities around here. So having the wolves is not going to be ideal. Let's get away of that quickly. Oops, come on. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to damage you a lot. Let's get away that. Oh, we could stagger you. Extra damage. So, we're really not an issue. Now, the main loot here is going to be on the eastern side of the village. And it should be pretty obvious because it's got a load of turtles out front. Where are we? You can see it's right there. Look, we're going to go ahead and use our stone key on it. And that's going to give us the turtle amulet, which will increase our stamina regeneration rate, which is excellent. Um, this also happens to be a good place to farm the turtle neck, which is obviously um, good for the consumable that also increases stamina regen. So stacking the two of them, like join boss battles and stuff, is going to be pretty ideal for you. So the stone key used, we can head straight on down. Kill as many of these as you like. I'll be obviously not going to do that here. And then claim your prize, the Turtle Talisman. Hopefully this helps some of you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.